Alright lads, my name is Amina Golan and today I am showing you a third party software macro. This is not an in-game World of Warcraft macro. This is a macro um, for you guys out there who have any software like Razor Synapse or any Logitech equivalent or any other equivalent that doesn't require you to have a Logitech mouse or a Razor mouse. Because this is a macro which is going to do two things at once um, but not within the in-game macro system because that doesn't work. Uh, what the macro does is it uses um, it's basically within one keybind it will use obliterate or plague leech depending on which you can use at that time so is, if for instance you know when you bind them into two macros it won't work because they're both on a global cooldown and you can't do that but um, what will happen is basically when you're using your obliterates and you don't have enough runes um, you have basically imagine you know you're spamming your obliterates you don't have any runes now if you um, normally you know you keep pressing it and Nothing will nothing will happen with the plague leech macro in there. So even if you can't use the, the obliterate with the first line of the macro, you can't use the second line, which is like a mic take. But oh well, I suppose it makes sense. But with this software like this, you will be able to use it. So you're spamming in the obliterates, but you can't use it because you uh, you don't have any runes. What this will do is it will also use plague leech within the same keybind. So whenever you can use plague leech, you will use it automatically. So you don't need to bind it to a separate keybind. Um, and you know you don't necessarily have to think about it too much. It will just automatically happen whenever you you use your obliterate. It's um, it's almost like not having play leech at all. Um, it's almost like having a passive effect within obliterate, which is kind of it's kind of helpful and nice. It just makes things a lot simpler in your rotation. You don't have to um, waste time pressing a different keybind. So let me quickly show you how to create it. First of all, you know you have your keybind for obliterate. Mine is one. I have a play glitch, I have num divide, it doesn't matter what keyboard you have. And I'm going to put default delay, and then I'm going to press, actually it's probably quicker not to, but well, um, I'm going to press record, uh, record. I don't know why I put an accent on, um, and press 1, and num divide, whatever your key binds are, press stop, and you want to get rid of the delays between the key presses, because it's just not really needed. And this um, point, uh, point zero 0.05 of a second, it's it's way too quick for the macro to um, respond in WoW. This is basically too quick for World of Warcraft. So what you want to do is you press the edit key and or whatever you want to do, you can add a deep, you can change the default delay to this. However you make um want to do it, um I found that 0 0.1 a te basically a tenth of a second seems to work and it's the quickest way quickest um, possible time you can get. So once you've made the macro, very simply apply it to whatever keybind you want. At the moment, I have it as one on my um, on my mouse. You know, you just go to here. So imagine it's just that, and you just go to macro, and uh, you know, you just find it here. Press save, and there, uh, jobs are good. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you um, the macro properly in game because um, for some reason, when you put the macro, it doesn't register where you're actually using obliterate like you know for the key presses where you press like for instance now I'm going to press frost strike and I press 1 like I am now I just get this little flash it doesn't make any sense at all so I'm going to show you I'm going to show you um, close in on plague leech I'm going to spam the obliterate macro and I'm going to, it's basically you will not see it press down like it should do if it's used like this on look at frost strike it's getting pressed in and you can see how the, it changes in color slightly like this. That is not going to happen to Plague Leech like this. Actually, no, fuck, I'm actually going to use it there. No, I'm not actually, I'm not, I'm not going to use it. So, like this. Do you get what I mean? It's not going to do that. So, I'm going to spam the macro. And look, watch Plague Leech. It will not, it will not happen. See how it just, like, it just happened without it being, like, highlighted? It's because the, ma the other macro is casting it so quickly, it barely registers actually in the game. Alright lads, that is the end of the video. That is just basically in, in, an insight how how I use certain um, third party softwares like that, like Razor Synapse, like with Logitech kind of stuff. And hopefully I can give you a bit of inspiration to make your own macros and take advantage of the third party software so it gives you an actual advantage in game. If you want another example, um, yeah, I'm going to cast Death and Decay now. You probably won't see the green stuff, like the green plan thing, because I have a macro that basically does it automatically for me. So look how quick this happens. You see how the green thing didn't appear, um, and that is basically because I have a macro which presses the keybind for death and decay, and then clicks very, very, very quickly together, and so it kind of just you know so I don't have to um, press nine and then hover over the mouse; it just instantly does it. So you know that if that is another way that you can use the macro. 
Um, you know, but yeah, you should take advantage of a software like that, you know, and, you know, hopefully this video gave you some inspiration to make your own macros on these lines. My name is Metagoblin, and to my next video, ciao! My friend, I can't seem to stand Nothing changes inside of me I'm tiredly pushing the limits I'm building my 